Rhoda Bergen is 14 years old, the age when a Kazakh of the Altai must master a hunting eagle. Rhoda goes to see his uncle, Sheikh Pauli, an important member of the Jantiki clan. He lives in the district of Delun in Western Mongolia. Sheikh Pauli is a white beard, the Kazakhs' affectionate nickname for their elders. He is also an eagle trainer and is famous throughout the entire Olgi province. Pauli is one of the last masters who knows how to train Altai eagles to hunt wolves. <laughs> this ancestral practice left a tremendous impression on Marco Polo, who described it in the late 13th century. <laughs> Training eagles to hunt wolves perpetuates the Kazakh tradition that unites the three great predators of the Altai, wolf, man, and the royal eagle. The bird of prey personifies the intrepid soul of the warriors. The Kazakhs generally capture female eagles, which are stronger and more ferocious than the males. It is also easier for them to show tenderness towards a female eagle in a traditional culture where men rarely express their feelings towards their own wives in public. In early summer, Pauli and Roda head into the mountains in search of a young eagle for the apprentice hunter. Pauli has spotted a balapan, an eaglet that has not yet taken flight. Pauli gives Rhoda some last-minute advice to help the boy capture the precious companion that fate has set before him. The harsh valleys in the western foothills of the Altai, at an altitude of 2,500 meters, are home to the Kazakh people and to the royal eagles. The mother is probably out hunting for her eaglet. Rhoda has to take the balapan before she returns. The young bird of prey is a royal eagle of the Altai. When fully grown, she will weigh a dozen kilos and have a wingspan of two and a half to three meters. Oh, 
Bayka bir anda arkamda sarası boy bir karik. Üretim muhtab oldu, biyekli oldu. Bir gün sonra da hafta bir gün başta başta bu da oldu. Bosa. Ah doğru. Bosa. Bosa. Oprem ha. Opsim Allah. Bana pamuk oldu benim de. Yeltiğim var vay. Asık vay tasık mı vay gelmedi Ayca aksım ol. Aksım ol. The eaglet is panting. She's thirsty. As soon as they get home, they'll give her something to drink. Rhoda is lucky. It's a beautiful female. Her talons are powerful, her wings full and well proportioned. According to a Kazakh proverb, the eagle dispels the darkness in the heart of man. An eagle brings light to a household. <laughs> the Balapan gets used to the animals in the herd. She must not view the goats and sheep as prey. During communist rule, the herds were confiscated and became part of collective farms. The migrations were cut back, and the itineraries were determined by a centralized planning system. Kazakh farmers, like Pauli, bought back their herds and returned to their ancestral way of life. Some ewes abandon their lambs after giving birth. It's still cold and a newborn lamb wobbling on its unsteady legs at the back of the herd doesn't stand much chance of surviving. Predators are nearby, lying in wait for easy prey.
Pauli's wife Demigen gives the petrified lamb a decoction of fortifying roots to build up its strength. Later, Rhoda will return it to its mother. During the summer, all the animals are brought together and entrusted to shepherds, who take them to the high pastures. The herds return to the valley at the end of the season. Kazakhs keep the slaughtered meat cold and consume it throughout the winter. The innards are eaten immediately. Kazakhs view the wolf as a mirror of man. They believe its meat has medicinal qualities. Each organ of a wolf, when eaten, is believed to heal the corresponding human organ. Broda explains to his young companion how an eagle punctured this wolf's skull with the grip of her talons. They are immersed in the spirit of the hunt. Rhoda learns more about the eagles from the hunters of his clan. His cousin Rongar teaches him to put leather mitts on the eagle's talons to protect her from fox and wolf bites. Yeah. 
Ne tevra? Ne kadar Alacak sütü. 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 Kauli, Rhoda's father, is impressed by his son's balapan. He shows his son how to immobilize an eagle by pressing lightly with his finger. The Balapan's training continues. Kauli works on her balance. The eagle will need it when she's perched on her master's arm during the long hunt on horseback. High price of Kashmir on international markets. Kazakhs are raising more and more goats. These animals are more voracious than sheep, and they destroy the grazing land. The region is becoming increasingly arid, which is a serious problem. Ice helps conserve the water in the region's only well. The women are the caretakers of the clan's heritage. They expect this winter to be harsh and difficult. is now used to her unsteady perch. The swaying cord doesn't throw her off balance.
Today, Pauli is teaching his nephew a crucial step in eagle training. Tying the wing and tail feathers prevents the eagle from escaping. Only five of the large tail feathers have to be tied. These function as a rudder, and without the rudder, the eagle cannot gain altitude. The Balapan is fed like an athlete. In two days, she devours a rabbit or a marmot that Rhoda kills in the hills. Soaked in warm water, the meat tastes like freshly killed flesh. Flight training has started. Each time the Balapan lands on his glove, Pauli rewards her with a rabbit foot. Each day, Pauli has the young eagle fly further. has to get used to carrying the weight of the eagle on his arm without weakening. have already killed many sheep in the valley. Rhoda is sent out on reconnaissance. sheep was killed here recently. From the tracks, the predator was a powerful animal. Since the disappearance of their natural prey, decimated by poachers and commercial hunters, the wolves have been attacking the herds. They have become used to the presence of men and are increasingly defiant.
Sizde mi oturma? Yasarın kralı oturma. Sizden görüp ayıttı oturma. Sizde mi oturma? Sizde mi oturma? Yasarın oturma ya. Yemiş sizin yasarın oturma. Ha, sizin yasarın oturma. Peki. Siz ne kışpayız? Siz ne kışpayız? Siz ne kışpayız? Taipak, the chief of the Jantiki clan, awaits news from Rhoda. Kaya, iyi gördün mü? Ne? Ne? Aldırın ama. Kolu yukarıda. Sen ayıkayla belki bir gün görsene kaşpadın mı? Kaşpadın mı? Rhoda's story about his encounter with the wolves adds another episode to the long saga of his people. Since the time of Janibek, the legendary ancestor of the Kazakhs of the Western Altai, the clans have loved stories of wolves, eagles, and warriors. Kadıçalı <gülüyor> Andan astığı körünür, çok bakıcı, sonra kaydık ve parasını oyatıp, o işe kozu kaydı. O kozu beni çatır mı özüm, yok da çatırım değil. Eee, ce, 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 sonra ne, ne kaçtı bile koyar. Ce, ce, canı bak senin kok verin bari ki. Mağam bir, siz mağam bir at veriniz değil. At veriniz de görsün, Pelembay dediğin kok dönün bari, kok dönün de bireyik. Kok dönün bireyin de girdin ki, The women make fur hats as well as fur collars and cuffs from fox and wolf skins in the traditional style of the Altai shepherds. The warm and colorful interiors reflect the inner joy that allows this Spartan people to bear their harsh and desolate environment. 
Women play a discreet but decisive role in Kazakh culture. The ornamental styles of each family are transmitted from mother to daughter. The patterns are altered by marriages and new designs are constantly added. The designs are inspired by the natural environment of the Altai. Hoydegende <gülüyor> Rhoda spreads the news in the valley. Taipak is organizing a large wolf hunt and is inviting all the hunters to join in. Will Hospan participate? Hospan's eagle is a turnic, a four-year-old female. She has proved her worth many times over. Hospan's prestige has grown with each of her triumphs over the wolf. Hospan and his turnic are coming. It will be a good hunt. Rhoda takes Taipak's invitation to the Cheruk, the neighboring clan that is close to the Jantiki. Kwambai, the chief of the Cheruk, looks young and strong, though he's over 80 years old. Kwambai is rightly proud of Taspan, his white-shouldered Altai, the most highly prized of the royal eagles. The exceptional wingspan of the royal eagle of the Altai makes it more powerful than his close cousins of the steppes. The Cheruk are delighted to accept Taipak's invitation. Yeah. 
The white beards of the two clans meet at Pauli's house to decide on the details of the hunt. As always, they recall past adventures. Some choose to embellish their stories, and affectionate teasing is the rule. The cheek of the sheep is a choice piece of meat. By tradition, it is offered to the eldest guest. The mountain is so arid that the Kazakhs, like many nomadic people, are closely dependent on their animals which provide most of their food. At dawn, the hunters from the valley gather near Pauli's winter home. The Itel and Naiman clans have joined the Jantiki and the Cheruk. Group hunts are unusual, and everyone wants to excel. Today, the honor of each clan flies on the wings of the eagles. Jokes and bravado mask everyone's anxiety. Each hunter is wondering, will my eagle be up to the challenge? Will she be courageous? Much more than just a wolf hunt, this gathering is a collective celebration of the spirit of the ancestors. Each hunter hopes to capture the trophy. Once the wolf has been struck down, he will shout out loud the name of his clan's ancestral hero. The hunter
hunters reach Cold Mountain, near the Chinese border, where Rhoda saw the wolves. eagles position themselves on the high ground. The young hunters are in the plain to drive the wolves. Rhoda's introduction into the Brotherhood of Hunters, Pauli gives the boy the honor of releasing his eagle, Jana. the eagle that belongs to Kumbai the Cheruk, brings down the wolf. <laughs> Pauli is delighted. His Jana has honored him, and he is able to shout out loud the name of his ancestor, Jani Beck. celebrate the victorious return of the hunters by showering them with pieces of dried cheese. Yeah, get them up. 
The Kazakhs have set up their yurt in the summer pastures. The ancestors have been honored. Their names have echoed several times throughout the Altai, and the wolves have stopped bothering the herds. Pauli is about to carry out a painful obligation, but it's one that no Kazakh hunter can avoid. After living side by side with their eagles for several years, Kazakh hunters return them to the wilds. The best ones are marked with strips of fabric. Hunters looking for brave and powerful balapans will be on the watch for eaglets from these remarkable mothers. A wild eagle flies out to meet Jana. Their offspring will perpetuate the alliance between the eagle and the Kazakh hunter. 